सब्सक्राइब कीजिए धे आई चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए Most of us use Amazon, Facebook and Gmail almost on an everyday basis. But what if you get to know that even those platforms are not safe and secure in terms of personal data like password and other information? It is a great threat for all of us. Recently, a security firm Threat Fabric has alerted about a new malware called BlackRock which can steal information like passwords and credit card information from about 377 smartphone applications. These applications include Amazon, Facebook, Gmail and Tinder. Since these are very popular apps, the threat posed by the BlackRock Android malware is quite high. In today's edition of our DNS, we will let you know in detail about the Android malware. A new Android malware has been discovered that steals data such as password and credit card details from around 337 apps including some of the most popular ones like Gmail, Amazon, Netflix, Uber and many others. The malware that goes by the name BlackRock has data theft capabilities. Basically, BlackRock is not a new malware. In fact, it is based on the leaked source code of the Xeris malware, itself derived from malware called LokiBot. The only big difference between BlackRock and other Android banking trojans is that it can target more apps than previous malwares. BlackRock works like most Android malware. Once installed on a phone, it monitors the targeted app. When the user enters the login or credit card details, the malware sends the information to a server. BlackRock uses the phone's accessibility feature and then uses an Android DPC that is device policy controller to provide access to other permissions. When the malware is launched on the device for the first time, it hides its icon from the app drawer, making it invisible to the end user. It then asks for accessibility service privileges. Once this privilege is granted, BlackRock grants itself additional permissions required to fully function without having to interact any further with the victim. At this point of time, the bot is ready to receive commands from the command and control server and execute overlay attacks. But BlackRock is not only limited to online banking apps. It targets general purpose apps from various categories like books and references, business, communication, dating, entertainment, lifestyle, music and audio, news and magazine, tools and video players and editors. The researchers took note that BlackRock steals credentials such as usernames and passwords from 226 applications which include PayPal, Amazon and eBay. Gmail, Google Pay, Uber, Yahoo Mail, Amazon and Netflix among many others. In addition to this, the malware steals credit card numbers from an additional 111 apps that include Facebook Messenger, Google Hangouts, Instagram, PlayStation, Reddit, TikTok, Twitter, WhatsApp and YouTube. According to Thread Fabric, the malware can be used to send and steal SMS messages hide notifications, key logging, AV detection and much more. Not only this, 
The new malware is extremely powerful. It makes antivirus applications useless. As per the experts, currently the Trojan is yet to be spotted on Google Play Store and is distributed as a fake Google update on third-party stores. The best bet is to download apps only from Google Play stores, use strong passwords, beware of spam and phishing emails, use an antivirus app if possible and check app permission. For now, these are the best ways and measures to keep our devices protected from such strong malware.